I showed you on a previous video how to do SOAP request using Power BI. So we're going to do it now using Python on the requests library. Now, it's a lot easier to do it in, in Power BI. So you, if you can do it, do it there. Mainly because of reading XML files in Python is such a nightmare. So <laughs> we're going to figure it out. When I show you, it's going to be easy. But once you get a different format, prepare yourself. To do SOAP requests, I found these, you know, W3 schools offers um, SOAP APIs to, to test and learn. So we're going to use the service that allows us to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. I have both services. So we're going to do Celsius to Fahrenheit because I understand Celsius. Okay. So 20 degrees Celsius is what in Fahrenheit? Normally you can click here on invoke. It doesn't work. I'm not sure why. So you can test the service, but it doesn't allow you to. <laughs> That's fine. And then here you have the documentation for this endpoint or service. Here you have some information about the headers, the URL, and then this is what is called the SOAP envelope. Let's go to Python to start the request, and then we'll go here and we translate everything. OK, so I am using Lab. You can use any Python interpreter you like. So we're going to do import request. So request is the library that will do the API calls. And request goes like this, response. We need to go to the service. And it's telling us that we need to do a post request. So we're going to do response. This is a variable that is going to store whatever the API returns, if we do it properly, obviously. <laughs> so we're doing request dot post because they told us that it was a post and then you need a URL. You're going to need a data variable which is going to be the SOAP envelope that we did in Power BI. If you didn't watch that video, don't worry. We're still going to do it here. And then we have the headers, right? Headers, which we call it in Power BI options. So we're going to call it here also, so you can follow along. So what this means is that we need three variables. We need a variable called URL. We need a variable called SOAP envelope. And we need a variable called options. OK? So where do we find this stuff? The URL. Let's go back here. So if you click on here and this works, you can grab the URL from there. You can also grab it from here, but otherwise you can just put these and these together and it will give you the URL. So whatever way you do it, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you copy everything though. So this is going to be our URL. Now the SOAP envelope is going to be this part. This part is enough. So we're going to go in there, boom, boom, boom. You know, the three quotes allows us to have the text broken in, in details, in parts. We're going to do the same as we did in the Power BI video. We're going to hard code the Celsius, but then we will create a variable for it. So we have the envelope, we have the URL, we need to have the options also. And the options is going to be a list of, in this case, just one, because there is just one header that we need. And the header that we need is going to be content type, this header there. Put it in. Content type. And then we're going to have a text XML like that. And now we have everything that we need. We just need to have the results of response to text. So I did it the Power BI way. This is have to be a dictionary and not a list in Power BI. So if you put the right characters, there you have it. Okay, so now we have our XML. And now we need to read XMLs in Python. And Easier said than done. There are a ton of libraries, but it's not the libraries that is the issue, it's how every different supplier just produces the XML. So there is a library, this is built in into Python, so you don't have to install anything, called uh, elementary. So you import it like that. And now what we need to do is as follows. <laughs> I'm going to 
So we need to get the response in here parsed into a string. And this is from string. This took me the longest time. You wouldn't believe it. And then we need to iterate. So this we say for a child in root iter. You have to read the documentation to know this. Then you need to get the part. You, I probably should do just a second so you can see the elements print child because it helped me. So what this tells you is it gives you the roots of the XML file. Read about XML files if you don't follow along or if you want to know more. And this will tell you what the roots are called. Very often I find that they have these namespaces, which is this schema stuff, which is really annoying because it makes it harder to read, basically. Now, I'm not going to translate the namespaces. It's something that you can do. But because this is such an easy XML file, so where I'm going to just grab everything. But you can actually get rid of the stuff between the curly brackets. You don't have to rewrite everything. So we're going to change that to that because we want to access the value here if you well wait 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 a second if you do print child dot tag or child dot text it will give you sorry it will give you the tags this is the tag of the xml and it will give you the value and you can see this is the value that we want to grab so that's where you put the part, this part, the tag, in there. And then when you print the, now we just want tab, we say cel, Celsius to Fahrenheit equal, and then print it as a variable. So you store in a variable, you print it, you get rid of that parenthesis, and now we have a variable that has the stuff. Now, if you want to do parameterization as we did for um, Power BI is actually very simple. You just create a new variable that it says cell C oh, Celsius, and you say this is going to be minus 20. And then in here, you have to put that value. So for that, we're going to do the F string method because I think it's the easiest way to actually have a clean code. And then between curly brackets, here you put the cell C stuff. Print minus four. Okay, so it's still working. Cool. Now, I couldn't find any public SOAP API that did basic authentication. Oh, well, there are a million ways to do it, so I'm not even going to go there. But basic is quite common for this API. So if you want to know how to do it, if you remember, we were using an external service in Power BI because Power BI does not, maybe it does base 64 the coding. I, I never went that far because I'm actually using this in Python. Uh, but um, Python has a base 64 decoder. So this is how the code looks like. You do import base 65, base 64, and then this just creates a little function. You don't even need to create a function. If you do base64 encode, it will give you, you know, everything that you need. And then you put authentication. If you run this, it's going to do the basic stuff. So then what you need to do here is authentication. And then you need to put this one, right, in there to encode the username and password. Or you put it somewhere else and then you import it here, you know, whatever fits your needs. So yeah, this is everything. This is how you do base 64, both in Power BI previous video and in Python this video. So I'll see you in the next one.